Here we have a Toshiba 2.5 inch hard drive that came in for repair data recovery. And the hard drive looks something like this. I already disassembled the board so we can speed up the process right here. And right off the bat, I see a connector. It looks like the connector may have ripped off the board and I hope that's the problem. And nothing else is wrong with the drive. And if that's the case, we should be able to recover data for the customer. Let's take a look at the board and see what's going on. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. The board looks clean. Yeah, it looks absolutely clean. Oh, except for this part here. It looks like somebody attempted the repair. Yeah, we see signs of flux. A solder blob here, a solder blob here, bridging here, bridging here. And you see, look at this, that's flux. More flux here and a black hair. So the person who attempted the repair is a young person. More flux here. But nothing else was done on the board. And that's a good thing. Looks like we have a firmware chip right here, wind bond. And we also have one here. Right? Yeah. This board contains, I believe, two firmware chips. Based on what I can tell, I see one rip pad right here, but rest of the pads are still on the board. And that's great. That's awesome. And if we take a look at the customer's connector, what do we see? We do see the ripped pad stuck on one of the pins. And I can tell that we have broken pins, bent pins, both on the bottom, right here, and inside. So the connector is officially deceased. We cannot reuse this connector. Where are we going to get another connector from? No need to fear because we have the USB connectors box. A lot of you already purchased that box. If you have not already done so, you can log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, or just search USB connectors. This box contains over 496 USB connectors inside. Every connector that you can think of. One to 100. Every compartment has five connectors, except for a few compartments where we could not fit five connectors. And we have taken pictures for every single connector inside the box. It's a must-have box. Right now, how do I know which compartment contains a similar connector? We're not going to find exactly the same connector, but we can improvise. This connector is 90 degrees. And I do not think that we have 90 degree connector that looks the same inside this box. We have five pin connectors, we have seven pin connectors, we have 11 pin connectors, and I think we have a couple of USB-C connectors, but everything is labeled from one to 100. Am I gonna open every compartment and see which one looks similar? No, we have taken pictures for every single connector. Just log into our site and search for USB connectors. And you should see two listings for USB connectors. We sell the connectors individually if you click here or you can click on the box and if you do click on the box or the other listing, the box is right here. We have taken pictures of every single connector inside the box and the pictures can be accessed via this link right here. And I posted an older video, I put a link for an older video where I used a connector from the box to fix whatever device I was working on at the time. So let's click on that link right here. And if you noticed, we took a photo of every single connector and we labeled every photo with a number. 
let's say you are looking for this connector that's compartment number 20 we open up compartment number 20 and you should have five ports there and in our case we are looking for the wider connector let's see if we can find right there right there the white connectors compartment number 56 and we have compartment number 57 so what's the difference this one looks like it's an SMT connector it's a surface mount whereas the one on top is a through hole you see the pins on the sides so if we look here at compartment number 56 or 57 and the compartments are labeled we did all the labeling we did all the numbering all the organization and that was like I said I think back in 2017 2018 and this is one of the best selling items in our shop or maybe it falls in the top 10 list 56 57 right here I opened up the compartment and right there let's look at the connector under the microscope I grabbed we do see the pins on the sides right now we have over 45 hard drives 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch that we need to do data recovery on and I mentioned it a couple of times in the past we need help with data recovery if you are a data recovery lab or you know how to recover data from hard drives whether it's head swap platter swap reach out and we'll take it from there we have how many one two three four expedited those must be done by tomorrow 3.5 inch from Seagate we have a 3.5 inch from Seagate we have one from Toshiba and this one is Seagate so three Seagates and one Toshiba and all of them are expedited so we definitely need help if you are local great if not let me know shoot me an email if you know how to recover data whether it's from hard drives only or SSD drives or M.2 drives or NVMe drives let me know if you do chip up data recovery on flash drives let me know as well I can share the load same goes with graphics cards our queue was 250 video cards now we have over 325 cards the queue is not going down it keeps going up and that's why we have a four to eight week waiting period if you mail in your video card unless you pay for expedited then it's one to eight days and as most of you know this is a family business we are six people working here myself who does the repairs and micro soldering big boss take apart and reassembly my dad who handles fulfillment and shipping my mother she helps out my dad but in addition she organizes the items on the shelves and if we have a new shipment coming in she counts the boxes she counts the items and makes sure that what we ordered is what we got and then you have my wife who comes in a few hours a day she does uh, drop-offs pickup invoices and all that office work we have my sister who does customer service replying to tickets replying to text messages replying to voicemails and replying to emails she takes care of all of that right now I can use at least four people four technicians maybe one or two for data recovery one or two for video cards one or two for laptop repairs or one or two that does all types of micro soldering work if you are that person let me know shoot me an email if you are local big plus if not then you have to be in the US I cannot ship stuff to India I cannot ship stuff to Pakistan I cannot ship stuff to Australia I cannot ship stuff to Europe you have to be in the US if you are qualified just shoot me an email pay is excellent pay is very good up to 50% pay you're not gonna find a better pay and your income is unlimited we have unlimited devices that needs to be fixed and the more you fix the more money you make let me know And we just cleaned out the holes and cleaned out the pads the connector I chose the through hole connector 
is actually 90 degrees. And that will work perfect. We just need to push that pin a bit to the right, right here. And we're going to have to shift the connector like that. Awesome, look at this. Look at the fit on this connector. Wow, we picked the perfect connector. We do not even need to run wires, maybe only one wire, the one that has the missing pad. But for the rest, wow, the box is amazing. Lifesaver. We're going to solder this pin and maybe we can solder this one. And then I can let go of the connector so I do not need to keep pressing down on it. Right now I'm pressing down on the connector because I want the pins to make a flush connection with the board. And we already soldered two pins. So we should be safe to let go of the connector. And now we can solder the rest better than factory. Apply some solder onto the tip. Solder this one, this one. Look at the quality on this microscope. One of the best quality microscopes in the market. And now we have the anti-glare light on. And we are focused on the pins. Very nice. And we only have one pin to restore. If we check on the rest of the pins, they should be solid. Let's use our fine needle probe. Just make sure all the pins are making a solid connection. And they are. Awesome. So we only need to run the wire from here to here. And while at it, why not solder the back so that connector is held in place? We have all new microscopes coming in this week and the color of the scope will be red. Very nice. And we're going to do this one here. And very nice. So we held the connector from the back. While we are on the back, why not clean up? for a better than factory finish. And now all we need to do is just run one wire and test. Maybe all that work is for nothing. We do not know if there's anything else wrong with the board. If that's the case, then we're gonna most likely order another board and we have to transfer all the firmwares over to the other board. That's our next option. Why didn't I do that instead of having to spend time fixing the connector? Because I would rather do things quick and not have to wait for the part to come in and make the customer wait. I always like to get things in and out as soon as possible. And let's solder that wire. Just like that. And we're going to solder it right here as well. Okay. Turn on the ring light. We are done. And we're going to cut that wire. Beautiful. Grab the brush. And give this board a bath. Manual ultrasonic cleaning. Some viewers still ask, why not use an ultrasonic cleaner? We recommend that you buy one. What do you think? We do not have an ultrasonic cleaner. We only use the cleaner when we have to, and we do not use it for every device that we get in. 
All right, and tell me this one is not better than factory. We do not need the middle pin because that's ground. We already have ground on the sides. We're going to connect the cable right here. Great, awesome. And we're going to connect the other end of the cable onto this extension USB cable that's plugged in directly to my desktop. I did hear the tone and the drive is spinning. Wow, 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 right there. Right there. I see all the files. Look at this. We're going to have to back up the files and I do not know how long it will take to back up the files. We have a lot. A lot of folders and a lot of files. So I'm going to put the hard drive down. I'll let the computer finish reading from the drive and hopefully I'll be able to copy all the files by tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.